Welcome to the new Janome Digitizer version 5 software. You'll notice the new user interface. It's simple and clean and designed to be easy to use no matter what your level of expertise. You'll notice that each icon is labeled clearly, so you'll never have to guess what that picture represents. Toolboxes have been designed to guide you through the process of managing and editing your designs. The multiple programs have now been integrated into this one easy to use interface. Designs are managed directly from the toolbox. Roll out the Manage Design Toolbox. This function finds all of the embroidery designs on your computer. Never worry about losing your designs again. Select your design and the information about that design is displayed on the right. To select the design, just double click it and that design is then opened on your workspace. The Customize Design Toolbox offers many options for editing and customizing your design. We have new color options such as Cycle Used Color and a brand new color wheel to completely change the colors of your design. Select the Background and Display option to view your design on all different styles of shirts, jackets, and even blanks. The Auto Fabric function allows you to select the fabric you'll be stitching your design on. The software then adjusts your design for that fabric and offers suggestions for the correct stabilizers to use to embroider that design. Open the Lettering and Monogramming toolbox to access the new lettering dialog. Just enter your text, select your fonts from the drop-down menu, and select your baseline or select from the options for lettering art. The option for advanced settings is available but stays hidden unless it's needed. There's also a new monogramming program with lots of different monogramming options to choose from. All different styles, borders, and ornaments. Quick and easy to use. Select the Artwork Toolbox to import artwork to use for manual or auto-digitizing. The Auto-Digitize Toolbox also allows you to insert the artwork and then offers many opportunities to instantly digitize that artwork. The Edit Objects Toolbox contains the tools that you would use for more advanced editing of the objects which make up your design, like the opportunity that you have to remove the stitch angles and add new stitch angles to an individual object. The Object Properties dialog box has also gotten a facelift and you'll see that now the stitch types are shown with three-dimensional graphics. Select your shape and you can select from different fills, ripple, here's a motif fill, and if we go into the Effects tab of Object Properties, you'll be able to select from different effects like Florentine or even the new 3D Warp effect. The Digitize Toolbox contains all new simplified tools for creating objects manually. The Applique Toolbox has a new function for combining applique designs together. The Advanced Digitizing Toolbox has a new addition of carving stamp and motif stamps. The standard version of the software now includes both cross stitch and cut work. In the cut work and stump work toolbox, you can create traditional cut work designs or you can create pre-cut pieces for your applique using the cutting needles. You can digitize stump work as well. Stump work is a three-dimensional embroidery technique. The layout toolbox offers the opportunity to mirror and create circular layouts for your embroidery designs. Besides the layout options, we also have a new opportunity to add buttonholes to designs. Notice that the tabs now across the top allow you to easily switch between different designs. This is a design where a buttonhole has been added over the top and the remove overlaps function allows the stitching from underneath to be removed. There is also a new multi-hooping feature. If a design is too large for the hoop, select the multi-hooping toolbox. 
Select the option to add a hoop and drag the hoop so that it covers your design. Select the splitting guide and divide the design into two. You can calculate the number of hoopings and add reference marks so that you can automatically realign the designs. There are also new options for satin stitching, which you will see in object properties. If you select satin stitching, there is now an option to create calligraphy. There's also an option to create three-dimensional satin stitching. Let's take a look at some of those designs. Here's an example of a three-dimensional satin stitch with layers of thread building up the satin stitching. The satin stitching can then be covered with fabric and a trapunto outline created for a trapunto look with the satin stitch. We also have a sample of the combination in applique, being able to combine two separate embroideries so that one fabric can be used between the two areas. Cross stitching, where we can take a cross stitch from a traditional printed graphic. And stump work, the three-dimensional stitching technique of stump work, where wire is inserted into the satin stitching, allowing you to create the three-dimensional shapes. And the cut work tool, being able to use the cutting needles to cut multiple layers of applique pieces to use in your applique designs. The last toolbox gives you the opportunity to output your design in different ways. You can save a design, export a design in all different file formats, or write to a USB stick. You also have the opportunity to capture design images with transparent backgrounds with full 3D graphics. Another great new feature is that the Janome Digitizer version 5 software does not require a hardware dongle. You can also run a free, fully functional version of the software in a 30-day trial.